It's ordered and now my wallet is empty. For those of you that have been married longer than me, is this something I should have talked to my wife about first? Because she's going to be home in about 10 minutes. Hey, my name's Luke Brown, and if you're new here, this is the channel where I try to learn something new every week. This week, I'm trying to learn how to build a PC. Let's get started. It's time to learn how to build a PC. I've never built one before, and I have no idea how. I know a little bit about a few pieces of computer technology, but I don't really know much about hardware, that's for sure. The reasons I want to build a computer, it really comes down to three reasons. Number one being, I simply want to learn how. It seems like a really cool project. I've never done it before. And I've heard that you can save a lot of money building your own PC. And I want to have in my PC exactly what I want in it. I don't want to buy a pre-made PC. I want to determine what is in it. And I want to be able to change things in the future. Also, building your own computer just seems super interesting. Like, it'll give me a good chance to learn a lot about technology that I don't really know that much about. I've upgraded RAM and hard drives in the past, but that's really about it. And that seemed like a pretty simple process compared to building like an entire PC. Reason number two, this thing has started to suck. This is my early 2011 MacBook Pro. It has been a good computer, I must say. I have really enjoyed using it. The only problem is, is it's gotten very slow. Processes are soldered in, but I did upgrade the RAM and I put a solid state drive in it a few years ago. So, I mean, it's, it's okay, but video rendering and uh, editing. The other day I did a test on this to see how long it would take. I uploaded a five minute video and it took three hours to get that ready to edit. And while that is going on, everything else is buggy. Cruising the internet, watching any other videos, Netflix, anything, it's just buggy and slow and laggy. And I just, I can't do it anymore. Also, this thing runs, has started to run really hot and that scares me a little bit as to what might be going on. It might be ready to crash any day now. And last, but certainly not least, is again, the MacBook. I am ready to leave Apple. I switched phones last year to Android. I got the Galaxy S8 Plus, which is what I'm recording this on right now. I loved everything about switching phones. I love Android better. This is not, this, this video is not meant to be a rant video about Apple, but I'm just tired of Apple. The headphone jack thing, like, come on. And also the ports, like, look at those. Look at how handy those ports are. They took all these out and I use these all the time. And so I'm not gonna get all the dongles. I'm just tired of it, so I'm leaving. I am so tired of Apple's crap. And most of all, the biggest thing I hate about Apple is the price, okay? I, I found out online that I can make a computer about as fast as a new MacBook for like a fourth of the cost. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I just look at the past and I'm like, why, why did I use Apple in the past? But, you know, I gotta say, the iPhone 4 when I got it was incredible. The MacBook Pro was really good. I have an iPad, I really like that as well. I had a good run with MacBook, but lately they're just not very impressive. So, time to switch. Speaking of crappy computers, this is my old desktop. This is a dx 48403 e from Gateway. I bring this up because this is why I review things so much now. I used to not look at like tech reviews or review any kind of products before I was gonna buy them. And then I went to Best Buy and bought this thinking it was a good computer and it was just crap. I needed it for audio, video, and music editing. And this thing just can't do any of it. Video editing, anything, it just, it's slow. I've been very displeased with this computer. I'm gonna review things a lot and I'm gonna get this right. I just realized I was gonna sell this computer on Facebook after I got a new computer. This is an excellent computer. Low miles, gently used, excellent condition. Anyway, let's get started. So how am I gonna do this? Well, I don't know anything about building PCs, so what I'm gonna try to do is find some guys on YouTube, maybe some blogs or you know, resources online where people explain how to build a computer and how, where to start. I have no idea. At the moment, I am clueless. I also need to find a reputable source to buy this hardware from. I don't wanna buy it from some janky off-brand site where I'm not gonna maybe get what I pay for. So uh, I know my brother used to use newegg.com and I've heard good things about that. I'm gonna see if that's the place to order this stuff from. So time to start doing some homework. I've been doing my homework for about two or three days now and I have learned a lot about computers. 
And the first thing I wanted to do was I decided to go to the Apple website and plug in the compute, like my dream computer on Apple and just see like how much it might cost. This is ridiculous. Keep in mind, these prices might be a little skewed because everything is fully maxed out. The 15 inch MacBook Pro is $4,200 before taxes. I'm glad they offer you financing. And to top it all off, we have the new iMac Pro, fully maxed out. $13,200. These prices are just like unbelievable to me. That's like a year's rent, you know, stuff like that. Oh, 13,000, yeah, that's perfect. Um, what, do you guys take limbs? Is it like right here? Is there, or, oh, right here is 13, okay. All right, perfect. Does that come with the trackpad? No, oh, okay. So I found out a lot about the computers though, and some of the stuff is really cool. So the first thing I found, a website that was really handy, was this PC Part Picker. And PC Part Picker gives you the compatibility of whatever you might be trying to build. So you put in all your parts, like I did right here, and it tells you if they're gonna be compatible. So you get a green check mark here if there's no issues and it's compatible. The second website I found that was really useful was User Benchmark, where you put in what it is you wanna get, and it tells you like the value of it, the speed, all that kind of stuff. So for example here, like let's add the CPU I decided on, the 1700X. You click that and it tells you what it's gonna cost and then it tells you how well it performs, how like the value, what are you getting for your money. I'm gonna talk about the hardware I picked and then we're gonna come back to this site in a second. Three YouTube channels I found that were probably the most useful for me was one, Linus Tech Tips. This guy reviews everything you might wanna put in a computer. Just search Linus Tech Tips and whatever you're looking for, most likely he's gonna have a video. The second thing is this guy, Matt Johnson. If you're on this channel solely for the beard, don't go to Matt's channel or you're never gonna come back. Matt has some really good PC build videos that I really enjoy. The third guy is Austin Evans. He's a guy that does a lot of PC builds too. Very, very good videos. If you guys have a chance and you're gonna build a PC, check out his channel as well. So why did I choose the hardware I chose? Well, uh, the first thing is the AMD 1700X processor. Compared to the equivalent like of an Intel processor, the Ryzen processor is supposed to be better for video because it has more threads in it. It has 32 threads, I believe. I guess threads are better for video rendering. I, I don't really know that much about that. I don't know why it's better exactly, but uh, I'm sure I'll find out eventually. Also, if you guys have answers to this stuff, let me know. So I got the 1700X processor, it's supposed to be really good. You can overclock it. I don't know if I'm interested in overclocking anything right now, we'll see. I got a 250 gigabyte solid state drive, which should be plenty. So that keeps like your programs and your operating system on it. And then everything else like media, documents, anything you put on the hard drive, which is way cheaper. A terabyte of solid state drive is very expensive. I got two terabytes of hard drive space. I got an ASRock X370 Tai Chi motherboard, which seemed to have good power, had a lot of the features I was looking for, and was good price. Read a lot of reviews that it was a good value for the money. Actually, all this stuff I've read is a really good value for your money, so that's kind of why I went with it. One exception to that is the RAM I got. I got 32 gigs of Ripjaw DDR4 RAM. Uh, I've looked around online and can't really seem to find a definitive answer as to why it is so expensive other than maybe supply and demand. You know, again, planning ahead, video, all this stuff. I want to get a machine, you know, that'll last a long time. For a power source, I went with a simple uh, 650 watt G3 power source. I guess they're supposed to be really good. <laughs> the last thing and definitely the most frustrating was... I, you know, I had a budget, I had a, everything mapped out on the computer, looked at all these reviews, you know, add the GPU to the PC build and it tells me it's 500 bucks. Actually, I think it said the GTX 1050 was like 450 bucks or something. So I was like, perfect. I got onto Amazon and Newegg and everything was either sold out or way overpriced. And that's when I learned about how GPUs are used for the cryptocurrency market right now. I guess it's used in, in mining things like Ethereum. And so people are mass buying these GPUs and hardly anyone can get their hands on one unless they're reselling them on Amazon for a ton of money. But I found a GTX 1080 on Newegg and while it was a little bit outside of the budget I was looking at, it was cheaper than the, all the GTX 1060s and 1070s I could find. So the GTX 1080, a better card, was cheaper than the rest. So I found one on Newegg. I purchased it pretty quickly because I really needed you know, I, I was really scared that it was going to be sold out. Sure enough, I get on Newegg five minutes later and they're all sold out. So I was actually pretty happy that I did that because I still might not have one. I don't really have much to say about cryptocurrency stuff. I, I don't really know much about it. All I know is they use GPUs to mine the various coins. 
and uh, it's really hurt the market and made it difficult to buy, to get a mid-level GPU right now. So it's it's kind of insane. So now you know about all the hardware I'm getting. Let's just add everything in here. GTX 1080, got that solid state drive. And RAM, I got 32 gig. Uh, I have everything added in here. So as you can see, like this computer is going to be a very good workstation, very high rated, and also high rated for gaming. I wasn't too worried about gaming. I don't, the old school games that I play are not super high def. Dang! So I'm not too worried about it. But here is, here's the GPU thing that I ran into, okay? So this website and PC builder, if they have a price listed, they'll tell you how much it's gonna cost. So, uh, you know, it tells me about $366 for the RAM, all this, you get the idea. But the thing to be careful of is like this graphics card here, GTX 1080, has it listed for $540, okay? Let's go to Amazon and see what we can get a GTX 1080 graphics card for. $1,029, $998, $849. So that's what I mean. You're going to be looking at a high price for a GPU because they're just insane right now. Anything new I got from Newegg. I got some used stuff on Amazon and eBay just because some of it, it didn't seem super important to get it brand new. And I found some that, I found some that were very lightly used. So that was good. Oh, I almost forgot. The case I got was the Fractal Design R5 case which I got because I guess it's really quiet. And again, I wanted a case that was really like subtle. I don't, I don't need it to be like, I don't need it to be like bright colors or anything like that or light up. So I, I really wanted just a quiet case and I wanted one that was just kind of matte black, something like that. So the Fractal R5 case looks really cool. So now everything's ordered and I just have to wait like five days for everything to show up, which sucks. I. I want to start building this thing right now. I'm so excited to, to kind of get the project underway, but now I'm just waiting. I hope there's, I heard there's like bad weather incoming in some of these places. So UPS might be slowed down. The postal service might be slowed down. I just hope it gets here soon. Uh, I'm definitely used to the age of Amazon Prime where like I want things right now. So uh, I, I have to be patient and wait. So yeah. So I think that's going to do it for today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys like what I'm doing, uh, hit that subscribe button. Stick around. I'll be building this PC in two or three days when everything shows up. So, until everything gets here, see you in the next video.